This video explains how to convert from hexadecimal to decimal, hexadecimal to binary, and hexadecimal to octal. Let's convert the hexadecimal number 10B3AD to decimal. The hexadecimal number system is based on the powers of 16. The first step is to write down the powers of 16 from right to left. Then, let's write down the final value of each power of 16. After that, Let's multiply each hexadecimal number 1 by 1. 1 times 1,048,576 is 1,048,576. Next, 0 times 65,536 is 0. Next, B times 4,096 is 45,056. Then, 3 times 256 is 768. Next, A times 16 is 160. Then, D times 1 is 13. Then, let's add up these numbers. 1,048,576 plus 0 plus 45,056 plus 768 plus 160 plus 13 is 1,094,573. So, the decimal equivalent of 10B3AD is 1,094,573. Let's convert the hexadecimal number 10B3AD to binary. The first step is to separate each hexadecimal number. Then, let's write down 8, 4, 2, and 1 below for each hexadecimal number. Let's start from the right. As you can see, D is the sum of 8 plus 4 plus 1. So, we're gonna replace 8, 4, and 1 with 1. We didn't use the 2, so let's replace it with a 0. Next, A is the sum of 8 and 2. So, we're gonna replace 8 and 2 with 1. We didn't use the 4 and 1, so let's replace it with a 0. Next, 3 is the sum of 2 and 1, so we're gonna replace 2 and 1 with 1. We didn't use 8 and 4, so let's replace it with a 0. Next, B is the sum of 8, 2, and 1, so we're gonna replace 8, 2, and 1 with 1. We didn't use 4, so let's replace it with a 0. Next is 0. We didn't use 8, 4, 2, and 1. So let's replace it with a 0. Next, 1 is equal to 1. So we're gonna replace 1 with 1. We didn't use 8, 4, and 2. So let's replace it with a 0. Let's get rid of the zeros in front because the binary number always start with 1. So the binary equivalent of 10B3AD is 1000101011000. One 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 zero one zero one one zero one base two. We write a little two down here to indicate that this is a binary number base two. Let's convert the hexadecimal number one zero B three AD to octal. The first step is to separate each hexadecimal number. Then let's write down eight, four, two, and one below for each hexadecimal number. Let's start from the right. As you can see, D is the sum of 8 plus 4 plus 1. So, we're gonna replace 8, 4, and 1 with 1. We didn't use the 2, so let's replace it with a 0. Next, A is the sum of 8 and 2. So, we're gonna replace 8 and 2 with 1. We didn't use the 4 and 1, so let's replace it with a 0. Next, 3 is the sum of 2 and 1. So we're gonna replace 2 and 1 with 1. We didn't use 8 and 4, so let's replace it with a 0. Next, B is the sum of 8, 2, and 1. So we're gonna replace 8, 2, and 1 with 1. We didn't use 4, so let's replace it with a 0. Next is 0. We didn't use 8, 4, 2, and 1. So let's replace it with a 0. Next, 
1 is equal to 1. So, we're gonna replace 1 with 1. We didn't use 8, 4, and 2, so let's replace it with a 0. Now, the next step is to separate these binary numbers into groups of 3, starting from the right. Then, let's write down 4, 2, and 1 underneath the sets of 3 binary numbers. Then, add up each set of 3. Let's start from the right and add the number that corresponds to binary digits 1. So, 4 plus 1 is 5. Second group, 4 plus 1 is 5. Third group, 4 plus 2 is 6. Fourth group, 1 corresponds with 1. Since 1 corresponds with 1, it becomes 1. Fifth group, 2 plus 1 is 3. Sixth group, since 1 corresponds with 1, it becomes 1. Last group, since 4 corresponds with 1, it becomes 4. So, the octal equivalent of 10B, 3AD, is 4131655, base 8. We write a little 8 down here to indicate that this is an octal number, base 8. Now, you can try to answer these problems. You can leave your answer in the comment section below.